Okay, so I have a 2011 Suburban uh, with a bad shift cable. Well, it's actually the shift bushing, of course, as you know, goes out. And um, some people use the Dorman shift cable. I mean, shift bushing repair kit. There's others online. Uh, if you replace the cable, you have to replace the, the lower. This snakes around and goes to the transmission, of course, and the upper, and this is where they join. Um, and then as you come up here, the cable, just showing you so you know, because I could not find anything online about this. It's pretty simple, but it comes through the floor, right here, snakes up through here, up around, and it ends up right here. And this is the shift mechanism. This is the other bushing that Dorman sells right there. But I'm just gonna replace the whole cable because that's what's recommended by GM. And I don't want it to go out again. There's also um, another uh, clip like is on the transmission to remove the cable right there. So you remove that cable out, this bushing off, and it'll go through the floorboard right there. And then I'll have you replace both cables so they connect right there. And um, it's pretty simple. Since there's nothing online, I thought I'd show people how, they, how it connects because I was trying to do research and could not find anything. Everything's about older Suburbans and Silverados and just the stupid bushing. Easiest fix ever, which I just want to do the whole thing. It's not that expensive. The whole cable, I'm waiting for it from the dealer right now, but it was a um, hundred bucks list. So you're probably going to get it for $85 for both cables. To me, that's not bad to just replace it with factory and be done with it and not have to worry about anything in the future. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thought you might want to know what's entailed in replacing that cable. It's pretty simple. I'm looking at about 20 to 30 minutes worth of work here total. Thanks. Bye. So there's the whole cable re removed as one piece. You notice the dirty part goes to the transmission. This goes through the floorboard. You have some, uh, this one you have to remove by prying it out and that'll hopefully come on the new cable. Uh, this one is kind of like a, it goes over a bolt, a nut. You just kind of got to wiggle it off. You shouldn't have to pry it hard. I get, literally got one hand on this side of the uh, frame rail where the cable was that I could see very easily. Another cable hand I went up over into the frame rail to kind of pull this down. Uh, the only other kind of weird part, um, you can see that this connects at the shift column, just like the transmission. It has a, a steel staple kind of like thing that you got to pull out first. And then you can get to these and you got to push these things in to remove them. That is your standard bushing that you just pry off. There is underneath the steering column, a um, spring like retainer that you kind of just have to push the cable in and out of. I'll try to get a picture of it up in here. Let's see here. Okay. It's this thing right here. Right there, okay. This is just kind of a loop that retains it, but you just kind of push it out of it and kind of wiggle it and you'll just have to kind of get the feel of pulling it out of that retainer. It kind of fills into that. And then just follow the same way you pull it out to put the route the, the new cable the same way back in. And over the, in the floorboard, over the steering column, through that retainer, over to the shifter. And once again, this shift, the shifter on this side is just like the transmission. You just pry it off, push it back on, very simple. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Okay, one more pointer on this. Um, this is the way the this joint connects together. And basically, um, the reason why they tell you to get two is because it's nearly impossible to take apart the um, this connection here. It's just, I mean, there is a little clip there that you might be able to get off, but um, they they want you to just replace that because you, you put one piece into the other, push this together. Now, major pointer make sure you 
put um, both ends connected to connect the transmission in park and the uh, shift lever in park and then push this together and then you're going to release this part down and this part slides in place to lock it but make sure you connect both ends first thanks